get back to it. I'm trying to think of what the goals are for this, this session. What's, let's see what time it is right now, actually. Day one, coming up, it's dusk. All right, so we've got a night time of crafting ahead of us. As you can see, we've expanded the village in quite some good directions since we first started. We have pushed things out a long way. Did I just stand on a... I think I just stood on a chicken. So we've got some little temporary housing over there. We've got a little farmstead being built up over there. I think that looks cool in the distance. We just saw Fred going into his uh, caravan. His porter cabin. And uh, yeah, so goals for tonight. We have to upgrade the kitchen. We do have to do that. So I do remember that that was on the cards from before. And then I think we're just going to build some stuff and see where we get to. Just expand things and see what happens. So that is the plan. Uh, this is the kitchen, which is looking pretty good. It's night time, so no one's going to be working in it. So this is a perfect time to actually do this. Uh, what we're looking for. This is a production building and it is a kitchen. That one. Kitchen two. Oh, not enough resources. Okay, let me go and get some logs. I should probably go and cut these down myself because I think I need the practice. To be honest. How's the pigs doing, by the way? How's the little piggies? <laughs> oh, we've got a different coloured pig. It's either dirty or it's a different coloured one. By the way, if you would like a, a pig naming after you or a chicken or anything else, do let me know. We have Twitch channel points that can be spent on uh, such frivolities. Let me see, actually. What? Uh, let me just manage my animals in this. Let me have a look at animal husbandry. There's some warnings here. What's the warning on that one? Oh, it's a house not quite built. All right, so that's that's a that's a job in progress. And there's a house there. Okay, we did lose... I think we lost someone last week. I recruited someone. I didn't get the house built in time for them. So anyway, that's that job to see too. And then we can, uh, we can fit some more people in there. So the barn too. Oh, it's just out of resources. It'll be out of rye or something like that. So I'll not worry about that. We'll try and keep things going as best we can. Um, okay, animal husbandry. Let's take a little look down here. Hey, Finn, how's it going? I'm Leonidas Rex. Welcome back. You don't know how to feel about a pig named Leonidas? Well, we, you can you can hold off. We can have a bull. We can have... There's a ram. I've got sheep as well. And if you want, we can get some gooses. How are you guys doing anyway? God, this is... I already feel chilled out already. Playing Guardians of the Galaxy was fun. And playing it, by the way, offline... With the proper soundtrack. Not the streamer-friendly version, but the real soundtrack. That adds quite a bit to the atmosphere. We hit some awesome tunes. I just played an hour offline before I came on here tonight. And I hit some awesome tunes on there, so I was I was well impressed. Anyway, let's take a look at the hen house. We've got, oh, probably too many chicks here. Yeah, we, we need... I mean, I don't, I don't need to have uh, a load of male chicks so we'll sell them off i think the sheep situation oh i think we have two female sheep then and one ram when it's uh, or tup as we call it up here but that's still just a juvenile and the pigsty this is your saturday oh so you what, worked all weekend leonidas full day of doing nothing that sounds good that sounds very good we're waiting for some more pigs to fill that up. That's okay. And the stable. We've got a... Oh, yeah, the filly's too young. So it'll need to be at least another year older. Probably, possibly two. I don't know if they bred off them as uh, as yearlings in this period. I don't know if the game takes that into account. I'm sure it will at some point. Right, let's go lopping down some big old trees. I'll try not to fell them on the pigs. I really only need eight logs, but uh... I thought that was going to hit that roof. It looked like it was heading roofwards. So I only need eight logs, but I'll take a few because I have a sneaking suspicion I'll need quite a few to do the rest of the building. Maybe planks as well. Planks are uh, more of a pain. Because in my wisdom, I built the the tree sheds or the woodcutter sheds a long way away from the rest of the village, so it is quite a hassle to get to to get out there now. 
Oh, it's your Sunday. Sorry, I misread that. This is, this is your Saturday today. It's like a chilled day out. It's quite a busy weekend this weekend. Rushing about. Oh, I went to see Ed Byrne, the comedian, on Saturday night. He was really good. That was loads of fun. And it was a show that we'd had booked up for nearly two years. I bought tickets nearly two years ago. But it's just been cancelled and cancelled due to COVID and lockdowns and things, postponed. So it was really nice to eventually get there. Uh, did I miss another one? Nope, that's okay. I feel like there's another tree that I felled here. And there was. And there's still more. Well, that's an actual tree. I haven't logged uh, this one yet. Wait, hang on. There's got to be some more to that somewhere. There we go. Right, is, oh no, there's a bit more there. Right, that looks like all I can see from here. It'll, oh hang on, will it not come up as... Yeah, we got it, we got it. Normally work through Tuesday through to Saturday. I used to like working on Saturdays actually, because it used to mean that uh, you got a day off through the week instead, when things were generally quieter, and you could actually uh, get and do stuff. So I used to quite like that. But it depends where you work, of course. That was back a long time ago when I worked in a in like a sports shop. And that, that was quite good. It was nice and busy on the Saturday, so the day went really quick. Quite enjoyed it back then. Simple times. No, I don't want a house. I would like the... I'm, I keep looking at that, because that looks like an oven to me. But anyway, we'll go for this one. Right then, we had better get the old builder's mallet out. Put this up. Yeah, I thought this would require quite a few logs. So this is going to be good because we're going to get some brand new recipes out of this. We can do the bread at last. We can have a mass bread cooking session. It'll be fantastic. So I need three logs for that. Seven, eight, nine, <laughs> sixteen. This bit at the front, 23. Okay, I need a lot of logs. Just, just, we'll, we'll stop counting. We'll just go and cut down a lot of trees. I do like this patch of spruce at the back here. It's very useful. Also, do I have any food on me? Mm, no, I do have some poisons. I was clearly planning to do that do something with that. Unless I picked it up, I might have picked the poison up. You're doing some, what, 60 and 70 hours a week? Oh, to get ready for the holidays. Is that through your choice, though? And is it for your holidays? Or is it just because of your work demands it to get prepared for the holidays? As in, uh, like, the Christmas season coming up. I, I do... Fairly regularly do 60 or 70 hour weeks, although to be fair, they're sometimes balanced out by a very short week, the week after. Um, but uh, doing that long time, long term, can really burn you out after a bit. You get into that routine of getting up, going to work, long day, coming home, getting something to eat, going to bed just to repeat the whole next day. And if you're doing that week after week, it suddenly starts to get a bit, a bit tiring, shall we say, a bit wearing. Chop the spruce tree. Mm, I felt like there should have been another end to that. So this soundtrack is going to feel considerably different after being used to the Guardians of the Galaxy one for the last week. It always sounds quite sinister at night, this game as well. As if something evil is stalking me throughout the land. Oh, did I, my torch, die? I should surely have some spare. Please tell me. Yes, I do. I've got my um, workshop guys making lots of lo uh, torches, partly because they sell incredibly well. But it's just, uh, it's now, now is the time of the game when I can just enjoy these resources and not feel like they're wasteful or I have to like really hoard everything. I can just, just have a little bit of fun 
this stuff now and feel like I can burn a few things up. Having said that, we don't need a torch to walk through here. What the hell is this stuff? Henbane. Okay, we've got a massive patch of henbane just out the back of the, the kitchen or the barn area. Should probably pick that stuff up then. I'll ditch it in the storage next time I'm going through. Doing such things does help increase my survival, I think. Not really sure what we use henbane for. But I do remember seeing it was uh, useful for one thing. We're nowhere near the right amount of logs there, are we? So let's see what, what looks like it's getting built as I do this. Mm, just that bit, literally. Okay, so we, we need a lot of logs still. Back to the spruce section. We are thinning this bit out quite a bit. catch this one as it comes down because uh, in amongst all those sticks it's easy to lose track of. Hey Ellen bro. Glad to see us back to some medieval. Yes, it's good to be back at this. I did enjoy... Where'd the third one go? I did enjoy Guardians of the Galaxy but uh, I've got to say I've not finished with this game at all. I've really enjoyed playing it. I couldn't wait to get back to it. Um, now I'm just trying to think if we had any major plans going on. There's obviously some... Oh, we've got Unigos story. I need to get some dried meat. A water skin with water. I think that's implying that I've got four of those. We've got the coin, clearly. Uh, it's a dried meat, though. I need to get the correct building to produce that. I think it's the next hunting lodge. How are you doing, anyway? Just working on the second kitchen at the moment. Just watching out for the rubber logs. Where, where are those sneaky trees? This looks like a good one. Oh, this is going to fall on my house though, isn't it? You good? Good, glad to hear it. Still playing this? Or have you moved on as well? Uh, this is going to make a mess as this comes down. Are we going to have a log on top of the... No, I think, I think that's made it down. I think that's okay. Big log. And we've got more spruce somewhere. Well, I guess I can take a birch. It doesn't matter. Got a huge patch of ground freeing up here. Although, I, I want to leave the... Um, Maybe I should dig out the uh, birch logs, because I don't really want them to respawn. I kind of just want the, uh, the spruce to. You know, that's not a bad idea, actually. Let me get my trusty shovel. Oh, God, this is what happens when you work in the dark. Jumped over some Bannerlord for the last two days, but you played this as recently as three days ago. Bannerlord's something I need to get back to at some point as well. I imagine that's had a lot of updates since I last played it, because I think that was... Oh, it's got to be over a year ago. It's, uh, you know, time flies by so fast when, uh, when you're busy. But I can't remember when I played that. It must be a long time ago. Right, let me put... I'll put a log up there so that one's done. And then we need at least 24 planks. Is this for this whole section? No, it's not. There's, there's more needed. I think I need about 48 planks to do this, I think, by the looks of this. Right then, to the plank shop. Let me just check if this is right. I need at least 24 anyway. It just depends how those sections go up, but I'm thinking 48, so let's go and see if we've got that in stock. 
I like the, the hang on. That's, that's a nice touch. We've got some moonlight coming through a window or a slot or something up there. Does it move as well? It does. It moves as the moon moves. All right. That's, that's, uh, that's impressive use of light sources, I think, in the game. I like stuff like that. Saffron, welcome back, and thanks for the hydrate as well. Uh, what am I looking for in here? Planks, and we're going to put some logs back in. And some sticks and some feathers, because we can't be seen carrying all that around. Why am I still loading so heavy stuff? What, where, where's all that coming from? Let's put these things in anyway. I don't need dandelions and daisies. Or poison. Or night vision. Or strength. So... Right, that is just one. That is one water skin, which I need for the quest. I thought it might have been four water skins each with uh, water in, but it's not. It's just one. It just displays funny on the quest, so I couldn't quite, I wasn't quite sure. What is, uh, what's taking up the weight? Something's taking up a lot of weight in this. Is it the various tools I've got? I've got two scythes. It might be that. I've got 11 coifs. Okay, I didn't sell them then, apparently. Why have I got two fishing spears on me? I don't need two fishing spears. Uh, I must have picked a load of stuff up from my last little trek around the map and not put it away. We do seem to have a bit of bit of crap on us here. Oh, the other water skin is empty. That might be why it's showing up like that. Okay, I will fill that up then. And we came for some planks, didn't we? God, we're nearly full on this as well. What is... What's the manure situation? Is Because there's something clearly that's filling everything up. There's a lot of straw. There's a lot of stone. Okay, I need to get something made out of stone, don't I? I've got too much stone. I mean, I can just take it out and dump it on the floor here, which isn't a bad solution. There's a hell of a lot of rye grain. Um, planks. Oof. Okay, yeah, I think I can definitely afford to take those planks out. Maybe I need another workshop guy making something out of planks to sell for money. So I was thinking I needed 48. Which is a fair old weight, but it's just what we can manage comfortably. <laughs> a thousand stone. I could just take it all out and dump it on the floor, because that won't go anywhere. Even better, I could make a little basket to put it in, and just so it looks nice on the floor, couldn't I? Would be a nice touch, I think. All right, I think I calculated this correctly. We'll see what the others do. And I've got to dive into the food store and get some scoff. Ah, hang on. Is the whole section going green? I think it is. The whole roof is on that side. Good. And that one too. So we should be okay. Nice. We have a kitchen. However, I don't know if it's copied over the production schedule from the first half. So let me take a little look at this. Kitchen 2. We currently have nobody assigned to that. They must have just had a baby or something because I was sure we did. So it's currently just making roasted meat and I've not got anything else set in there. That was that was the deal, I think, at that time. Okay, well, let me put some, uh, some workers in. See what we've got. Hey, Piranha Man, do I see the birds that I saved anymore? Uh, the last time I saw one, if anyone doesn't know the story about this, by the way, um, my kids rescued a nest full of little, tiny little baby chicks. So they'd been abandoned. The nest had been ripped out of a hedge by some other animal. And there was three of these tiny little things in, which didn't have enough feathers on to be able to recognize. And we brought them back and reared them up and released them back into the wild, well, into the garden. And they, they, they turned out to be chiff chaffs, which is something you don't see too often in the UK. You hear them, but you very, very rarely see them. And they, um, 
yeah, migrated off south for winter. And we did see one of them come back earlier this year. We were having a barbecue and one just fluttered back down into the garden and about six feet away from us, which was really cute. It had to have been one of ours because a wild one, I don't think would ever do that, considering I've not seen one before in my 40 odd years on this planet. And then since we rescued those, we see them coming right up close to us. So we're pretty sure that was one. So that was a nice little touch. But yeah, so the others will still be around. We, we do hear them out the front, but it's getting to that time of year where they may have already gone, headed off down south again. So um, yeah, but that was cool. It was cool. One of our children come back to see us. I don't think I have any spare workers. Chib Chibora is. Why is she set to nothing? She was the cook, and she's got the skill in it, so that's that's uh, my missus here. Okay, so she's got the right skill for this, which is good. I think I'm going to put her in the tavern, to be honest, when uh, we get the tavern built. I'll just make uh, roasted meat for now. So she can make plenty of that. That's fine. Look at this. It's dawn. Right, it's time for me to get some scoff. Cherries. Mm -mm, food and water. I have nothing I can really make with those at the moment. We've got plenty of water, haven't we? I think. Oh, we obviously got the, the fisherman's hut built then. I couldn't remember if we had or not. Fish meat. What will this produce when it's cooked? I tell you what, we should probably... Do you roast fish meat in here? I have no idea. Is it on the management list for this? In the kitchen too. Roasted meat. Yes, it is. Okay, so let's let's do 50-50 of these two. And then I can play around with the other things to my heart's content. I don't know if roasted fish is better than roasted meat in this game. Let's find out. That's the one. Right, how long to make that? 105 roasted fish. Too long, really, but I'll take the XP. So, if you guys missed this game, I know I haven't streamed it for over a week. It is nice to get back to it. Nice to get back to some just chilled out gaming. Uh, with no NPC chatter going on in the background. I think that's the thing that really fried my head about Guardians of the Galaxy is the constant bickering and chattering between the, uh, the, the Guardians, which is really good and it's funny in a lot of places and you really enjoy it. But sometimes it's just a bit overdone. And the classic example is when I loaded it back up today to go and listen to the proper soundtrack. Just in your, in your, in your spaceship, there's like a little cassette player and you go and you can choose all the licensed music to play off there and it plays it in the background. But for some reason it plays it quietly and you're trying to listen to it, and even there, you've got your teammates, the NPCs, you know, the, the rest of the Guardians, shouting at each other over the top of it. And they don't just chatter to each other, they, they, they shout at each other the whole time, throughout the entire game. It's just like noise. It is exactly like the second Guardians of the Galaxy film, in that respect. It's just, just constant teammates shouting at each other, trying to get, you know, one over the other ones. It's, it's really funny in places, but it can get a bit much. Especially when you just want to listen to some tunes as well. So 100 roast fish coming right up. I wonder what I can do with this. I need to look at the rest of the recipes available here. Did I buy... I think I bought some white bread recipes, so I would like to come and cook some of that, as I have not done it myself before. Hmm. Yeah, I'm looking at that quest again. It says water skin with water, and then it's got one times one, but then in brackets I've got four. So it's almost as if it only wants a water skin with one single charge in it for the quest. I.e. it only needs that. You'd think if you're going to give someone like some water for a journey, you'd fill it up. And it's like, 
Oh yeah, I, I brought you uh, something to, uh, you know, I brought you a Christmas present. It's quarter of a bottle of sherry. The rest was quite nice, but I hope you enjoy this bit. Hmm, odd. But anyway, we can hand that over and then dried meat. I have a, I have a feeling that that one's in the, um, the next hunting lodge. When you turn it in, you keep the water skin, so it's only missing one use. Really? So when you hand it over, it's like for your journey, and you just basically pour some water into his mouth and then take the thing back. <laughs> okay. Hey, Tiger Faust, how's it going? Who's been hydrating me? I think Saffron managed a little bit earlier, so I'm, I'm not quite shriveled up just yet. I'm still alive. I might need a lot of hydration over the next week. My eldest daughter's not very well at the moment um it's it's covid like symptoms but also it's just like cold like symptoms so we've got a bit of the head cold the slight cough the chills and the fever not serious fever though and she's tested negative so far on the home testing kits but we're keeping an eye on that and i don't feel too clever either so keep me hydrated folks keep me alive we might have the dreaded plague in the house. Thank you, thank you, Ellen Brooke, for the hydrate. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah, so I'm hoping it's just a cold. But uh, we've both tested negative so far. But these are just the home testing kits, which which, tend, which are supposed to be pretty accurate for, uh, for testing positive. But um, I don't know. I don't have a lot of faith in these things. Hello, our mateys. I'm doing okay. Thank you very much. How are you? You had flu the other week. Ah, uh, sorry to hear that, Prana Man. It sucks. That, it does absolutely suck. But at least it wasn't the dreaded COVID, eh? Right, let me take a look at this food I've just produced. So lots of roasted fish. It's eight food, so it is better than meat, which is good to hear. Yeah, I can afford to eat plenty of that. Throw it in there. I'll put the rest in... I'll put most of the rest in storage. I will take that around as my little personal food store. Give me, um, yeah, put about 80, 80, that'll do. And I'll take 13 around to last me the rest of the day. Uh, so I might just run down and go and get some. What's all this weight? Have I got, um, I think I have a lot of weight again. I'll go and get some water. And then we're going to calculate how we're going to make a million loaves of bread or something so ridiculous. What's this stuff? Is this... Oh, do you think the poppies are red? The poppies look ready to me, don't they? So if I get my chopper out... No. Oh, I think... Did, did we work out you need sickles to harvest poppies? I haven't tried, but I bet it is. You've had COVID before. You were lucky. It wasn't too bad. Glad to hear it. It's one of them horrible things that can... That some people don't even know they've had it. It's that mild. Or it can be absolute... Well, it can be lethal. So... You've got a sore throat because your sons uh, take turns coughing in your mouth. Nice. Today you're getting a flu shot and a COVID booster. Well, you say you might feel bad after that. My wife had uh, the... the, the the flu and the COVID booster at the same time. No ill effect whatsoever. Now, considering that when she had her original COVID shots, she, uh, after each one, she got like a, a mild, like 24 hour temperature and uh, tiredness and, and all that sort of stuff. And uh, she's been bad from flu boosters before, again, for about 24, 36 hours. But um, no, this year, both together, no trouble at all. Oh, I'm glad all your family are okay. It is, it is a worry. It is a, definitely a worry. Right, okay, let me check out the recipes. So we've got... We're working up to... Kitchen 2. If there are no sickles in the store, then they won't be able to harvest the poppies if the poppies need sickles. I wonder if that's what sickles are for. Okay. I better go and make some. So I think I decided wheat rolls were the best, weren't they? Six flour, grain. Oh, God, I need buckets of water. 
This is the problem then, because that's a pain in the ass for me to carry around. Porridge with berries. That's easier. White bread. Nine flour. Five buckets of... I'm going to need a lot more buckets of water in store, aren't I? If I'm going to make any of these. I can't believe you need five buckets of water to make a loaf of bread. It must mean charges out of a bucket of water, surely. 